Okay, so today we're going to be doing a really cool review, uh, one that I really have been looking forward to doing. Uh, it's taken a lot of testing, me just to make sure that I do it right. I'm really proud to have actually been uh, selected by this company. Uh, they're a really good company. They're called Signature Mouthguards. They do a lot of great works regarding you know protecting your teeth just as any other person should be worried about whenever they play any type of contact sport. They sent me their Type 4 as you can see. Uh, this is a whole package that you get. It's pretty cool. It even comes with its own little case. And of course the mouth guard inside of, the, inside of this little pouch right here is two types of gelatins that you're going to mix together and go from there. So what I want you to do is for the full review, for the full explanation of everything that I'll be doing, or that everything that I'm explaining, it's going to be on the blog. It's going to be it's pronotretail.blogspot.com. So if you want to get more information, go ahead and go there and get all the information that you need. If you have any questions, there's a comment section below. Please ask me anything. Uh, I've put myself through enough torture just to be able to test this mouth guard out. You know, to protect these and I play without facial protection, and it has really worked wonders for me. Any other type of mouth guard I've ever used has just been total, not very good for me at all. If you have not heard of signature mouth guards, I suggest you kind of look a little deeper into it. If you live in Canada or you just buy mouth guards at your local shop, you know, hockey shop, uh, you actually are using sin signature mouth guard stuff. They actually have a different brand on them. They're actually called Reebok and CCM mouth guards. They actually go by the name of Smart Mouth. But unfortunately for you, you're not getting their top flight model. You're actually getting their lowest level tier. This is type 4. This is their highest level. If you really want to actually protect your teeth, get a type 4. So how do we turn this into this? The really cool part about it is it has these little ridges up at the top. It's a lot taller than this. I really like it more closer and protective right there where it doesn't bother me up at the top of my mouth. So it's got little lines that are outlined for you to cut along the top and also has them in the back. Uh, there's one, there's a second one, and uh, you can actually make it a lot shorter if you just like to protect these. Once you've trimmed it, once you've heated it up, molded it to your mouth, you're going to take it out. And the really cool part is there's two gelatins. They are latex free, so you're going to mix the two jellies in a separate bowl or a piece of paper. Once that jelly is ready to go, you're going to throw it in here. You're going to line it up to the entire inside of the mouth guard. Once all the jelly is in there, I, you, what you need to do is you're going to throw it in your mouth and you're going to just close your teeth around it and what it does is it forms an air net type of feel uh, a gel uh, this is no longer that jelly this at this point it's that type of uh, of non latex foam when it actually touches your teeth or anything it just kind of suction cups it and it makes it a lot easier for the mouth guard to stay in your mouth and I actually have to reach up into my mouth and pry it off because it's so stuck on and it's so protective I've taken a puck to the mouth I've had a couple of people punch me with gloves on without gloves I felt nothing my teeth felt amazing nothing why are you going to spend about twenty dollars on a mouth guard that sucks when you can actually shell out you know a good amount of money for these you're gonna have a longer lasting mouth guard a much protective mouth guard and what what better could you ask for? Another thing, if you're also paying attention, you know, you see it on both of these right here, this one right here, and this one right here. You see that little blue bar? That little blue bar is really cool. It's called an anti-torque. It keeps your mouth guard from allowing to flex in different ways that most mouth guards do when you take a hit. So when that actually happens with regular mouth guards, it usually results in either lost teeth obviously or a concussion uh, they really do try their hardest to make this possibly the best mouth guard in the market honestly I do personally believe this is the best mouth guard in the market I've used a lot of shock doctors not just the one review that you've seen a lot of them just get thrown away out of disgust and I have no interest in trying them or even reviewing them because I've just been so angry with them um, I've used Nike Nike has been my favorite up until now 
And this is actually the top mouth guard in a lot of countries in Europe. It was created for really rough contact sports, uh, such as Australian football. This is football like Americanized football, but those guys are actually real hardworking guys. So, you know, they're real men. They don't snap the ball and then just take a knee for like the next 10 minutes. These guys play without pads. They're crazy. They're just as crazy as rugby. Well, guess who also uses it? Rugby players approve of this as well. Um, football, for you uh, Americans, that's all called soccer as well. So a lot of a lot of people use it, and you know, martial arts people use it as well. It's just really cool. It's really awesome to see a mouth guard actually be doing so great, especially one that started as a DIY. Uh, that's another reason why I really really like this company. They're great. Uh, their owner. Uh, the, you know, the original man who made it, you know, they started in 1984. Uh, they they've been innovating, they've been renovating, and they've make they've done everything they can to make the true process of protection just do the best that they can to make sure that everybody is safe, their your teeth are safe, and it's just I, I have nothing but faith in the fact that they're going to get better and better. Uh, I've been speaking with one of their gentlemen. Uh, his name is uh, Luke. And he is a, a pretty, pretty great guy, great personality. He runs the business well. I have a feeling he'll do great once his father decides to retire. So cheers to you. And so the really cool part about it is he's the one who approached me. And I'm just, I'm really happy to have actually been doing this. So as far, so let's go ahead and break into the review part. Now, this is going to be a two-part review. This is the main one. I do want to make you guys aware of that. There will be a second video later on. Uh, we're going to upload this one first, and then the second one will be a, a hockey player from Team ASU who I actually approached personally and said, Hey, man, uh, would you like to try a mouth guard? I really want to get your input on it. He's been, he's been using it for a while. I contacted him on, 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 on Facebook the other day, and he is just ecstatic. He can't wait for me to go ahead and take the camera in and interview him. So it's going to be a really good time. Now, as far as the fit, in my concern, uh, how do you grade the, the fit of a mouth guard that offers two different fits for the ultimate customization? Easily. Uh, um, as far as I'm concerned, I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. Best fit mouth guard you'll ever have. You can have the worst dentist nightmare teeth in the world, you know, if you're a juggalo or something, and you'll just, they'll feel great. Uh, for the ventilation breathability, it's a mouth guard, so it's basically the top of your mouth. But one thing about mouth guards is if you're a hockey player and you're watching this and you use a mouth guard, you'll notice that a lot of mouth guards make you feel like you have a really fat tongue or something that's just blocking your airway. This does not do that. Sometimes I don't even take my mouth guard when I get to the bench. The only reason I do is because someone next to me will start talking to me. You don't feel like your mouth is stuffed with anything, it's right up against your teeth. It's right at the top of your mouth. It's not in the way, and I can actually talk with it. So as far as ventilation and breathability, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because of the fact that uh, it doesn't give me that fat tongue feel. It doesn't make me feel like I have something in my mouth that I'm eating or and I'm trying to talk, you know, bad manners. But it it's, it's like a true mouth guard and it doesn't get in the way. That's the really cool part. That's the one thing that you want is when you're using a product that is supposed to be really good and it doesn't get in the way, it doesn't block you from anything. And that's what I love about this. Uh, I think I'll be using you know signature mouth guards for a long time, whether it's a bad review or not. You know, I'm gonna give an honest opinion, but and I am giving an honest opinion right now. I've had a lot of people contact me about it. A lot of people are excited. The player that uh, that I'm talking with is excited, so it's great. Now, as far as the protection. Uh, one big problem with every mouth guard is the fact that when you're trying them out and you go to certain, you go and play certain hockey games, not a lot of times it are random things going to happen to you to try it out and put it to the test. Well, I have that unfortunate luck that whenever I'm on the ice and I wear a mouth guard, something seems to hit my face, not on purpose or anything like that. Uh, well, but in these instances, I made sure that it was on purpose. Uh, there was a guy that I was hounding on the other team and finally towards the end, he turned around and he got really mad and I'm like, punch me, punch me, punch me, and he did. And he punched me really hard with his glove on and it hurt. 
But you know what? I didn't feel anything on my upper teeth. The only reason it hurts is because it made my, my lips bleed. And that was about it. Other than that, I didn't care. It didn't matter to me. And it was great. That was actually one of the best things to do to prove it. The other part was some guys did like a full wrist shot. Again, for some odd reason, I stuck my stick in front of it to try to keep it from going into our net. And it rode up on my stick. And it hit me right here. And it was just painful. I felt like my mouth was on fire and I was dying. But other than that, it protected. It did its job. It did great. And you can really feel this inside liner just really taking the whole brunt of the shock. It really, it's kind of like those Jofa pads that they have the shock dispersal. It's really cool. It kind of, it kind of does that, but for your mouth. So as far as the protection, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. This is the best mouth guard I've ever used. And I swear by it at this point, I don't play hockey without it. And if I do, I call myself a dummy. The shell, the shell is strong, the shell is a little flexible, and one really uh, crazy part that I did also was I, I threw it on the ground and I ma tried to mash it to see if it would get cut with my with my hockey skates nothing there's not a single scratch on it i thought it would i've done that before with my nike mouth guard i sliced it in half on the ice and i was a little bummed out because i just bought it this one it's so strong it's so strong i don't even know why or how they can do that but it's so strong it really does feel protected just from that I, I've chewed on it on purpose to see and there's no fraying from even from my teeth. It's amazing. I'm just absolutely impressed, utterly impressed. There's no no other way that I feel except that it's amazing. So for that, for the shell, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. And the really cool part is I know Signature Mouth Guards is working on another one. This is a Type 4 again. They're, pro they're working on one that's a little higher, so probably a Type 5 or whatever you want to call it. And that one's only going to be better. I mean, how amazing can you get every, every other year or every year you just come out with something that's better and better without sacrificing protection or anything like that? That's wonderful. Bauer, you should take a hint. The durability, so far I've had it for about a month at this point. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, the only thing that I would say is all you people who use mouth guards, you know this. Uh, if you don't wash your mouth guard often, it'll get that funky smell. This doesn't do that. I give this a good dunk in Listerine as well to kill the germs. Nothing. I always suggest doing that though, if, if you didn't hear that part correctly. Take a cup of water or not a cup of water, just take a coffee cup or anything like that or a small bowl, pour, put this on the bottom and pour some Listerine on it and just kind of leave it on there, make sure it's fully submerged and leave it on there for at least a couple of minutes. All the bacteria, all the germs will get, you know, destroyed, get cut out and you'll be okay. As far as the durability for everything that I've done with it to fully test it, it feels great. I'm going to go ahead and give that a, a 10 out of 10. This may change. We still have, you know, the rest of the calendar year to go. But as far as I'm concerned, one month, heavy use, heavy play, lots of chewing, trying to destroy it, stepped on it to try to cut it in half or anything like that, nothing. I think it's a pretty good, durable mouth guard. It's going to be there for a while. This mouth guard is probably one of the best that I've used. Would I recommend getting it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is it worth the money? Oh, absolutely. Should you get this mouth guard if you don't play, uh, if, if you play without facial protection? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I want you to go ahead and ignore every single other store. Go on their website. Uh, please, please go on their Facebook. They, they will actually write you back and get in contact with you on Facebook as well or anything like that. Um, they, have, they have great customer service. They're just fantastic people. And like I said, there's website, signature-mouthguards.com. Please check them out. Call them on their number there if you want more information. Watch all the videos if you want. Just get in contact with them. They'll work with you. They're a really good company. Fantastic customer service. Great ownership. Just great quality service. And uh, I have a culinary degree. One of the things that I always heard well, the, was the main quote I always heard was, you can save a bad meal with amazing service, but you can't save bad service with, the, with an amazing meal. These guys give you great service. This might not be a meal, but they give you a great, great product. So they give you both the be best of both worlds. Or not. 
because it's such an amazing mouth guard and there's nothing above it and if there is please contact me because I want to try it out cheers